The complex at Saqqara contains 11 massive pits which even the Egyptians are at a loss to explain. They are not tombs, for all tombs were underground and carefully sealed, while these were accessible from the surface, and they are extremely large. But most fascinating is the fact that they are all connected by chutes. Ron believes these were the grain storage pits of the seven-year famine. When the pits were first excavated, bits of grain still remained in them. As grain was removed from one pit, grain from the other pits flowed through the chutes, making the grain always accessible from one location. These are within the wall of the step pyramid complex, which has only one entrance, and it opens to a long covered passageway with small cubicles on each side, each just the right size for a person to sit with perhaps a small table. The narrow, singular entrance would have allowed only a few people to enter at a time. There was no doubt in Ron's mind that this was the main center of grain distribution on a massive scale. As people arrived to get their grain, they lined up to enter the long corridor. Inside, they paid one of the cashiers in one of the cubicles for the grain. Then they proceeded through the corridor straight to the area of the grain bins. Once there, they descended the stairway next to the storage bins, handed their sack to a worker who filled it with grain and returned it to them. Then they exited through a small door on the lower level which led to the outside of the complex. Built on the plateau of Saqqara adjacent to ancient Memphis, the pyramid within the complex is the first ever built in Egypt. Ron Wyatt spent a great deal of time here searching for evidence which might shed light on the biblical account. On an island just below the first cataract of the Nile, an ancient inscription written around the 4th century BC was found which claimed to be a copy of a document written by Pharaoh Djoser more than 1,000 years earlier. It is the story of a land grant made by the Pharaoh to the priests of the god Num. It tells of seven years of famine and seven years of plenty, how Pharaoh had a dream and consulted his chancellor for help. It contains most elements of the seven years of famine and seven years of plenty story. Ancient Egyptian records list Djoser as the 16th pharaoh of Egypt, and historians have classified him with the so-called Third Dynasty. His chancellor, named Imhotep, was first known through the writings of the Egyptian historian Manetho, who in the 3rd century BC wrote, during Djoser's reign, there lived a man named Imhotep, who had the reputation of the Greek god of medicine and who invented the art of building with hewn stone. The legends attributed to Imhotep were so incredible that he was considered to be mythical until this century, when excavations at Djoser's pyramid complex revealed the base of a statue with the name Djoser on it and the name Imhotep, with his long list of titles, one of which was Chief Under the King, a title which first appears with Imhotep and also was first bestowed upon Joseph.